we're one hour in and we're only halfway done. <laughs> hey, it would be quite a shame if oh. I. Don't, please, I beg, 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 I beg. I just want to talk to him. Just once in the game. I don't think I'm gonna get him, but I just want to talk to him. What if I flip a coin? And if it's uh, if it's heads, he's gonna he's gonna steal them away. If it's tails, no, 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 he'll, no. he'll give you your fiery demon. Boy. Roll, <laughs> flip it. Don't, don't. <laughs> uh, what was heads? <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> After finishing your daily push-up, wait, singular. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for yeah, a break. Yeah. You head to the campfire and find Aravi, Hex, and Joy chilling and s'moring. And time! Yes! That, now that I tasted my marshmallow for exactly 128 seconds, it should be perfectly golden brown. And give me a huge defense buff, so hey! Where the shit is my marshmallow? Do you mean the marshmallow that you had on the end of your stick that you were holding in the fire? Because yeah, I ate that oh. one about 127 seconds ago. God damn it, Hex! How many times do I have to tell you not to fuck with my stats? If I die in a raid, you're going you're going to be out of out on your sorry ass. <laughs> Granted, you make a good point, but Here's another compelling argument. Marshmallows are so good. Oh my god, marshmallows. Haha. -ha. You two are s adorable. Seeing you bicker reminds me of the early days of the coven. You're bound together by fate, and even though it seems like you have nothing in common, you'll find some common ground. Learn to work together and figure out that you're stronger together than apart. Ah, season one. Those were the golden days. Pish, no way. I'm not a team Captain Joy. I'm a lone wolf. Just look at my fangs. Seriously? Robbie, wolves run in packs. I'm shocked that you don't know that because I seen you kill, like, at least four wolves. Yeah, and I killed those wolves by myself. Trust me, I tried every team comp possible. I played Paladin with a Light Cleric and Lore Bard. I've done two tanks to DPS and two support. I've even tried a team of six super intelligent, genetically engineered gorillas, and none of those teams could keep up with me. Huh, I get it. But I think you're underestimating teamwork. I miss hope and faith all the time. There wouldn't be a coven without them. Literally, the coven is at least two witches. Hell yeah. And teammates can cover up for your weaknesses. Like when Dimitri tried to use his seduction pheromones on me. I might have given in. But Hope cast a stuffy nose spell on me. Yeah, but teammates can also be a huge pain in the ass. Like, when am I supposed to share my hard earned green potions with you? I only have two in my inventory on a good day. This is why I love being a curse. It's kind of like you're on a team and solo at the same time. Like, we're intertwined 24-7, but I can also steal your beef jerky at will. You know exactly what this argument needs, your unsolic unsolicited opinion. You chime in, ready to impress one of those hotties by blindly agreeing with them. Sounds accurate. A team structure allows for a zany subplot. Or going solo means you can keep all those sweet experience points and level up faster. <laughs> uh, 
Rise up, gamers. Oh, yeah. Um, I hate to burst your stats bubbles, but I'm pretty sure that's not how experience works. I can prove you wrong right frickin' now. Here, name any human experience and I'll show you. Okay, how about the ineffable beauty of seeing the sunset and reflecting on how lucky you are to be alive? Try juicing experience points out of that. Easy! Challenge accepted! Boss Witch! <laughs> and Robbie runs off and returns two hours later. Right after the sunset, she looks pleased with herself. So you figured that she was either 1. Right about experiences, 2. Killed an orc, or 3. Both. <gasps> hey! Guys! Turns out the sun kind of looks like an over easy egg when it sets. Who knew? Alright you two, check this shit out, experience, watch sunset and reflect on joy of being alive, complete. From this experience, Aravi gains plus 6 experience points. You didn't even realize experience was a stat in the game. It's not. <laughs> okay, I get that you have some weird numbers you're tracking, but come on. Did you two learn nothing from the beauty of nature? Can't you appreciate a sunset for its own sake? Nope! It's like I always say, leveling up is the purpose of all consciousness. I literally do not do anything unless it earns me experience. Why would I? Um, maybe because doing beautiful things creates a warm, wonderful memory? that you'll have forever? Nah, that's bullshit. My girl Ravi is right. It's all about the stats, baby. Oh, and by the way, you can use experience points as a currency at 7-Eleven. I just looked it up in my narrator's LMAC and that's actually true. I'm on my last nerve, you two. Just Think about the time we went to the amusement park together. We had fun and it was the start of our friendship. And we ate cotton candy. Now admit that our day at the amusement park is a lovely memory and not a heartless attempt to get experience points. Oh yeah, I totally forgot our day at the amusement park. That was so awesome because I got so many points from the cotton candy that I finally hit level 13. You're shocked that Ravi has reached level 13 because as far as you know, you haven't reached up at all yet. God, how bad are you at this game? Joy? It kind of makes sense that you don't get experience because the coven is a team of three. That means you have not sh you have to share your experience points. Level up, loser. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably getting a few points yourself that you're not even noticing them. Did I... Did I just get experience shamed? Arabi? I'm out of here. I'm going to resend... I'm going to read a book so I can feel good feelings and not get some fucking made up points. I guess I should say thanks, Yue. You helped me prove my points. Maybe we can go XP grinding together? I don't mind sharing the points, as long as they're with you. Oh god. <laughs> Plus, if I let a level 1 player like you wander around alone, you'll get killed by a gust of wind or an ant or something. Hell yeah! You hang out with a Robbie for hours. You still don't have enough points to reach level 2, but you do have- but you do unlock the slowly winning over a Sundare skill tree. Oh god. Oh yeah. Let's start a campfire. Okay. Alright, you have two choices. I do beg, I beg, please, oh, I hey, beg. Oh hey, Lester. No, no, please, I beg, 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 <laughs> I beg. Please. Flip a coin. Uh, fine, I'll sit with yes, the grim you. 
<clears throat> You're searching the campfire for dropped s'mores you can eat. When you run into Dalio and Milo, both crowded around Dalio's phone. So as I was saying, I had to conquer the kingdom in this fourth circle of hell. They insulted me by giving a kingdom that exists that I don't rule. Duh. That makes perfect sense. It's like I always say. Keep your friends close and hold your enemies like a baby bird that you can crush in your hand with one careless move. So after I slaughtered the ro their royal family and claimed the throne, I decimated half the population. It's a fun way to encourage obedience to my wrath. But here's the weird part. I tweeted about the whole thing on Hell Twitter, and I'm getting replies calling me a violent tyrant who is totally evil and not even cool. And apparently there's some kind of hashtag trending about it. I keep seeing hashtag blue scourge of death, hashtag Dahlia scandal, hashtag fourth circle burning. Oh dear. Well, you've come to the right place. You don't call me the feed doctor for nothing, Dahlia. What exactly did you tweet? Fourth circle losers! I killed half your population! <laughs> Welcome to... Rule of my iron fist! Population you! Hashtag violent! Hashtag violence! Hashtag ha <laughs> ha! Dahlia, this is a total emergency! You hashtag like a boomer! Oh, and the rest of it, it's pretty bad at optics, too. Fascinating! Never considered the optics of conquering a kingdom! Now that you've mentioned it, I know exactly what to do. Find and murder everyone who tweeted anything even slightly critical of me. I shall drink the blood of what I can only assume from the profile pictures is a legion of anime girls. God. Listen, Dahlia. I really do understand how you feel. Because I am a true empath that understands literally every possible emotion. But I'm afraid this is a little more complicated than just murdering a few Anon accounts. We've got to flip the narrative here, and get public opinion on your side. That way, you can conquer a million kingdoms, and everyone will just cheer you on and admire how you're increasing the number of women in high-ranking government positions. Milo, I like the sound of that. Dahlia, ruler of one million kingdoms. <laughs> Maybe I'll even take a harem. God, I'm killing my problem. Oh. I just realized their eyes change color. Yeah. And their nails, too. Yeah. It's... Here's my official recommendation. Partner with some fourth circle influencers. I'm talking snap stories, posts, giveaways, fake relationships, fake breakups. Everything. Ah, uh, I see. Partner with the most influential people in the fourth circle. So that when I inevitably murder them, it'll really crush the will of the people. Oh gosh, Dahlia does not seem to be absorbing Milo's social media finesse. Steer these deadly cuties in the right direction. Adam dying. Ah, uh, I don't want to do these voices anymore, but I'm gonna do them because I feel like it. It's for the sake of entertainment, am I right? Totally. Fake it till you make it, I guess. Hell yeah. yeah. Show people you have a chance. You have changed by writing a nice poem about how bad you feel. This way, the countless deaths won't be for nothing. They'll be inspiration for a nice poem. A poem? Yeah. I'm impressed, Sin. I didn't expect you to suggest something so emotionally magnificent. Dahlia, as your brand manager, I insist that you follow Sin's advice and post a poem about how bad you feel for doing all those murders. Ugh. Come on, Milo. Do I have to? Yes, I'm expecting the poem to be at least 16 verses, and let's keep it to iambic pentameter. It's the most apologetic meter. Iambic pentameter? What a fearsome opponent. I must admit I have been bested by iambic pentameter many times. Someday I shall defeat your five strange feet! But Milo, before I get started, can it be less verses, please? I only have so many emotions to express, and 60% of them are rage and lust for violence. 
Well, I suppose it can be shorter. Twit has a character limit anyway. And threads are a little gosh for this kind of thing. And Milo, do I have to make it rhyme? It's so hard to rhyme. N rhyme. <clears throat> Help. It's so hard to rhyme. <laughs> Nothing rhymes with bloodshed. First, bunk bed rhymes with bloodshed. And second, fine. You can do free verse if you absolutely insist. But artistically, you're making a huge mistake. Dahlia spends the next 10 minutes on her poem. In that time, she managed to smash 46 different pencils in her fist due to pure frustration. Okay, I'm finally done. It's a haiku, kind of. And it's also the best apology ever. Here goes. This is just to say I'm sorry I killed all those people so quickly. <laughs> they were probably crying and screaming because they wanted to admire my strength more before dying. Oh my god. Forgive me, they were so murderable and their heads were so juicy and stompable. Actually, fuck this. You're welcome. Love, Dahlia. <laughs> and post it. Now that's flipping the narrative. Dahlia, that was so beautiful. An emotional masterpiece and totally authentic. No matter how terribly this is received by the general public, just take comfort in the fact that I'm proud of you. You did such a good job expressing yourself. You and Milo quickly pull up Hell Twitter. Everyone is outraged, and Dahlia is being investigated by an international tribunal for violating the Geneva Conventions. What the hell? None of these people are celebrating my righteous victory! Ugh, social media is dumb. I'm gonna go conquer some shit to get this bad taste out of my heart. Awesome. I think we should celebrate a job well done. Nothing satisfies me. Like emotional redemption in the form of poetry. Fuck. Form of poetry. Maybe we could write a few together. We could rhyme bloodshed with bunk bed, if you know what I mean. 